Jonathan Stevens, three different quarterbacks, four different OCs, two different DCs since 2017. Zero playoff wins. We've made changes at the other significant spots already. It's Tomlin's turn. And why would you say it's Tomlin's turn? Have we been one win, two wins throughout that process? Or what has our win total been? What has our relevancy been going into the last week of every season? Have we been out of it? Just as a serious question, you know? Because I do agree, man. When you bring up all that transition, all that adversity, you would think that this team should be picking in the top five every single year, should not have more than four wins. Being as a guy who's played on teams that have been a part of quarterback changes, coordinator changes, heck, even head coaching changes in season, I remember where we were. We were nowhere ever. Bless you. Thank you. You know, what has been the case for the Steelers under Coach Thomas. So I'm legitimately trying to see – What's your thoughts are with that right there, man, specifically? Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. Uh, I've, I've been saying this podcast. you got to wait for the season to play out. And if you want to talk about in the off offseason, uh, things are stale. We need more playoff wins. Like, we just need to mix it the, up. I think that's completely fair. But. I think we could go down the list of a lot of teams that have not had playoff wins in the past five years, and we can talk who's more relevant, our team versus some of their teams. And I guarantee it, it's not even going to be a conversation. It's not going to be a legitimate debate. Sure. And that's the part where I get the gripe about winning postseason wins. I am 100% with you on that. But at the same time, we can't over-exaggerate the other end of this thing. We can't act like, oh, because we didn't get this portion, that all of this over here don't matter no more. All of this over here is bad. Heck, y'all can't even survive a 7-4 season a seven and five while we winning y'all lose your minds off of that it's like man would you really be able to endure some of these mass changes that y'all really be calling for man like when it really really goes to that i don't personally think that a lot of still nation could bro i don't this is a seven fourteen, a seven and five team technically right now with the l y'all act like we two y'all would have thought that we were the two and ten cardinals the way that y'all talk about this team from top to bottom man week in and week out and this is why we be getting dubs, man. It is the craziest thing to me. And then come Thursday night, not you all the way, but come Thursday night, we win. Be the same ones over here with a totally different tune. Talking about, man, we back in this thing. We got a chance to run it up, hose this, this, this. It's just crazy if you really just sit back and listen to it at times, man. That's all. I'm sorry. I was a little worked up on that one. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think the Maybe it's me. keeping us relevant sorry. does count for something. I don't think it should be taken for granted, but I, I think the thing people are questioning is, are, are we lying to ourselves with mm -hmm. where we're at, right? To where we uh -huh. might, we might just, we might, we might just need to shake it. It's it, yeah. it, the Eagles example with Rita is, yeah. is the perfect example mm -hmm. of, Reed is clearly not a bad coach. Oh, I, yeah, I would not say that. Tomlin is a bad coach. Yeah. In fact, I think he's a really good coach. Yeah. But I love the fact we bring up Philly because the they won the Super Bowl. So that's why we bring them up. And my whole rebuttal is, are they an outlier or is that standard yeah, operating sure. procedures? Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I feel You're like I could point to a lot more where it's not that. You bring up Philly, I'll bring up Chicago. Levy Smith. They never recovered. Uh... I don't know exactly what Lovey Smith's full uh, deal was. They fired him after a 10-win season. He had took him to a Super Bowl. He had been to multiple playoff games. But their thing was you haven't won the Super Bowl. He had a 10-win season. They fired him. Yeah, but this is this is also why I think we sh I'm fine with keeping Tomlin because I just don't know what the solution is otherwise. But if the well, if the reason is just to, hey, it's it's getting stale here. It's, it's time to move on. Like that, mm -hmm. that can be a legitimate reason. No, a hundred percent. And I'm with you on that. And this is my thing. When I speak on my support, I'm not or calling my for it. I think it. I think no matter how we finish the rest no. of the season, I think Tomlin gets another year. Yeah, well, that's that's, that's my standpoint. My, but I think the conversation yeah. is legitimate if we fall flat on our face. Here yeah, if up. you're falling flat on your face, that's a different conversation. This is a seven and fourteen with all of this nonsense that we've talked about in terms of variables, context, and this is still seven and four through all of that. That's all I'm saying. Or well, five. Five. Or excuse me, seven and five through all of that, right? So the whole idea or concept that it is stale, that he has lost the locker room, that is this, is like, well, factually, that can't be 
accurate when we're looking at this team still win games with questionable quarterback play, with questionable coordinator play performance, with questionable offensive line, with questionable receiver consistency, with questionable running game, with questionable people on defense in terms of availability and health, aging, right, getting old. And it's like, even with all that, we're still winning. We're still in all these games. We're still competitive. We're still competing. That's the part where I'm just like, it is not to this extent that people want to try to bring it and make it. And then the rebuttal is, oh, the playoffs. Okay, well, those are two different conversations. And I do agree, man, we're talking about since 2016, last playoff victory. Sure. But what also has taken place since 2016, right? If we're going to talk about it, let's talk about all the variables that have taken place. Going into your last game of the 2018 season, what happens? Who doesn't decide to play? And does that have an impact? But we also know there were multiple things that took place in that season to keep them from getting into that postseason. For, like I said, multiple things, James right? Connors, multiple things. Been throwing the pick at the end of the Broncos game. Multiple things, right? Take it the next year. What happens to seven? Right? 19. Am I tripping? 19. Does that not matter? Does that not matter? Maybe it don't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. All right? But it's another reason why. We still remember how that season was going also. Just in this whole big dynamic of, man, it's stale, it's mediocre, he's lost it, this, this, and that. I'm just like, yo, do we forget what happens in some of these situations, man? Like, I don't think that any of these things that we're talking about in terms of him not still having it, not still resonating, growing still, and all, I don't think that's accurate. But what I will say is, yes, it's a performance-based league. And the further he's removed from playoff success, that is more legitimate. The bend at the end, depending on how you view seven, might be how you view your feelings about Tomlin in that last, you know, him versus the, uh, the Browns. But what I will say is this. Now that you've drafted the first-round quarterback that you wanted to bring in here now, right? Seven is gone. He, he picked this Canada, is on too. you. Yep. So I look at these next two seasons as these are big Coach Tomlin seasons because we all about to find out, man, because that was your guy. That was your coordinator. This was your DC right here. These are your people. So I'm not about to trip in this first full season. With, we still ain't get the first full season all the way just yet. But in this part of it with Kenny, I'm like, yo, let me see. Let me get these next two. I need to know. But if it falls in his face flat before then, yeah, sure. That's a different convo. But have we seen it fall on its face? Have we seen it be the Arizona Cardinals? Have we seen it be the Carolina Panthers? Have we seen it be the Washington Commanders? Because until we see it get to that, stop talking to me like it is that. I'm like, bro, y'all act like seven wins is just some, oh, anybody can get seven wins. Like, bro, y'all got to save that nonsense, baby. Say that. But the postseason part, I am with you on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we've got to let the season play out here. Absolutely have to let the season play out. And I think we can win these next three, four games with Mitch. As is. And that'll have you. I think, I think it's five. these Tomlin losses that get people, though, too. Think, Losing yeah. to the two and ten Cardinals. Like, it, the, the, so, so, the Jets with Wash Vic. Hey, time out, time out real quick. Ryan time Mallet, out. Can, can I ask you a question, though? Cardinals Some of the game. blowout losses. No, too, no, just where, talk, where talk to me real quick, though. Talk to me real quick. Before the halftime. Talk to me real quick. Who said that the Cardinals were a bad team? Media said it. Fans really said it, right? Because y'all looked at the record and said, yo, they 2 and 10. They're god awful. They suck. What did you hear me specifically say to you in here, bro? All right. They got good people. They are more than good enough to win the game. If you allow them to stick a round and you don't headshot them out the gate first quarter, they are good enough to make this a game and make it competitive. We're going to put that on Tomlin? Ain't no player surprised by that. If anything, you looking at them players in the locker room like, see what we talking about? When y'all keep allowing this type of stuff to happen, these are the questions that y'all have. And the unfortunate part is they don't have the posting success to back themselves like what we were playing. We did. It was like, yo. We at least did some of this. We've at least had wins. We've at least blown out these teams. We're at least going on 10, 11, 12 wins. Whereas for them, they don't have that to stand on. So now even more conversation comes out around it. Yeah, it's still not good either way. It's not way. though, yeah. It, it's not good. Tomlin is at the head of this. Absolutely, When, when these Tomlin losses, yeah. so-called, happen, plus the blowout losses I'm mm -hmm. talking about. But 
I think just to focus on that and ignore the, the good blowout that wins done. or the yeah, yeah, just right. like you said, keeping like it does matter to be in the mix or year you, in year out. Like that, that truly does matter. Well, the only reason I focus on that is because if the standard truly is the standard, and we're talking Super Bowls, you can't say that's the standard if you don't even get the prerequisite of being in playoff contention going into the last week of the season. We can name all these other teams, man. Belichick coach teams, Andy Reid coach teams, Pete Carroll coach teams. They can't say that. Man, it's been multiple times they going to last season. Like, bro, that they ain't been over. They've been shipped them cars out. That's not the case here in Pittsburgh under Coach Tomlin. But we act as if that doesn't matter until you're in that situation. And then you're like, oh, this actually does suck. Just speaking from experience, that's all. Yeah, because that's... <laughs> it's just different, too. Y'all have never experienced that. Yeah, that's we not what I'm that. calling for, yeah. but that's... What I, I guess I'm doing a little bit devil's advocate going back and forth with and you And I here. love this, too, bro. Because I, I think a lot of fans are just And like, it's legitimate. It, it'll be better if we do bottom out long right. term to get I've back to where we want to be for the championships. If that yeah. truly is the standard. I've seen I don't, that. I don't think that's the best approach. You want to have think, a winning culture still. And I do agree about the winning culture. I think the other part is, and we've talked about this, and we are kind of seeing it with the draft. People put a lot more stock in the draft when they don't feel confident about their team. They're looking for hope. So their hope is, hey, if I could cash this lucky lottery ticket that's a first rounder, this guy has to come in here and be the next great thing. And we have talked about it just here in Pittsburgh. That that's clearly not the case. But yet that'll be the mindset that fans will employ in terms of what we're willing to do long term. It's like, nah, man, we risk it all. I know this is proven, but we'll risk it all for whatever. And you're like, well, who is the guy that you're guaranteeing for? Like, who is the dude? And it's like, it don't matter. We'll figure it out. We just need the picks. That's fan mindset at times. That's fan logic at times. Suck, suck, suck. And yeah, it'll definitely come back. And it's like, you look at some of these teams that have sucked, sucked, sucked. They still are sucking, 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 sucking. It's like, bro, when is it ever going to? There is no guarantee that's a one-year thing or it's a two-year process. Some of these teams really suck. We are not one of them teams, not even in the slightest bit, man. Do we have the occasional stinker? Yes. But you brought it up yourself, man. The Chiefs, any of these teams, shoot. I'm trying to think outside of maybe the Brady uh, Patriots. Most of these teams you will see have the occasional stinker. It happens. It's the it's NFL. more common right now. There's a lot of parity in the league. In Across the board, man. Across the board. Which gives me hope if we just get in the dance here. That's all you got to do. But you can't get into dance if you ain't winning enough. Defense just got to play better than what it did second half of yesterday. That, that's my healthy thing. Healthy, that, though. That's the formula. Yeah, yeah. defense got to be healthy. Defense the health right. killed us, man. And offense got to pick it up. And it looked like we were picking yeah. it up after firing Canada. But then we also got to see what's up with TJ, too. Because didn't he leave with the ankle? He went that's what back he said, in, yeah. but he might, yeah. he's probably still banged up. 